Hey everybody, this is Ryan O'Hare for NASCAR News. First off, check out our sponsor at simplyrugged.com. They're in the description. Simply Rugged Holsters, Robert and Jan Leahy. Great business owners. It's a terrific business. Very generous people. Check them out and buy some holsters if you can. All right, our first story of the day, ESPN sees ratings growth for the NASCAR Sprint Cup telecast in 2013. ESPN's telecast, the final 17 races of the 2013 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series season, saw upticks in both ratings and viewership over the 2012 season, with growth for both the full schedule and chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. According to Nielsen Media, the 17 races aired across ESPN and ABC averaged a 3.0 U.S. household rating, up from a 2.9 for last year, and averaged 4.8 million viewers, up from 4.6 million last year. 14 of the races aired on ESPN, and three Saturday night events aired on ABC. The 10 race chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup averaged a 2.8 U.S. household rating, up from a 2.7 for last year, and 4.5 million viewers, up from 4.2 million last year. Seven of the nine chase races that were run and telecasts as scheduled saw ratings and viewership growth over last year. The opening race of the chase at Chicagoland Speedway was rain delayed and not included in the totals. The highest rated race during ESPN's schedule was the August 24th Saturday night event at Bristol Motor Speedway, which earned a 3.9 U.S. household rating on ABC. The second highest was the July 28th Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, which earned a 3.6 rating on ESPN. The, the metered market with the highest average rating uh, for the 17 races was Greensboro, North Carolina, which averaged an 8.3 rating. Greensboro also was a top-rated metered market for 9 of the 17 races, was second 5 times, and third twice. Greensboro had ratings of 10.0 and higher for 4 races including a 10.3 for the season finale at Homestead Miami Speedway. Greenville, South Carolina was the second highest meter market for ESPN's portion of the NASCAR Sprint Cup schedule with an average rating of 8.0, finishing first in the nation six times. Rounding out the top 10 meter markets were Norfolk, Virginia, and Knoxville, Tennessee, Charlotte, North Carolina, Indianapolis, Richmond, Virginia, Birmingham, Alabama, Nashville, Tennessee, Orlando, Florida, and Jacksonville, Florida. In addition to having the sixth highest highest average rating, Indianapolis also scored the highest single race meter market of ESPN's portion of the season with a 3 point, thir, excuse me, a 13.7 for the Brickyard 400. So um, to see past races for the 2013 and 5 year comparison chart on the 2013 NASCAR TV ratings page. You can find that on JSKI. Our next uh, update, uh, Dave Blaney intends to be around NASCAR's top three series next season. He just doesn't know in, in what capacity. He might be driving again or watching his son Ryan, who will again race for Brad Keselowski Racing in the NASCAR Truck Series, and is expected to see action in the Nationwide Series as a Roger Penske development driver. Right now, the only racing Dave Blaney is assured of doing would be behind the wheel of his sprint cars. After being knocked out of his sprint cup ride at Tommy Baldwin Racing in favor of Nationwide driver Michael Lynette, who is bringing sponsorship. And quote, that's the way things go. I want to be out with Ryan watching him race, and I'll be doing that a lot, a lot no matter what. And if nothing else comes along, I'll run the sprint car whenever I can. And while he will be happy just to be race, excuse me, that was the end quote because Jay Ski didn't put quotations. And while he'll be happy just to be the, the track at the track, there's a lot of grammar issues here. There will be, a, the, and while he'll be happy just to be at the track watching Ryan race, the elder B Blaney isn't ready to let the book close on his cup career after being on the circuit for the past 14 years. Quote, I've been talking to a couple of the other smaller teams. I want to still do it if I have the opportunity. I'm going to be out there at the track with Ryan. If I get something going, that'll be great. Unquote. Though, um, he would also be interested in racing either the Nationwide Series or the trucks. So um, a lot of, a, I'd say, uncertainty going on with Dave Blaney's career. Next update, Mario Andretti, the only driver to capture the Daytona 500, the Indy 500, and a Formula One World Championship, headlines this year's inductees into the National Motorsports Hall of Fame. Along with Andretti, NASCAR Championship winning crew chief Ray Everham and veteran motorsports rider Steve Wade will also be honored with the 2013 classes inducted January 25th in Concord, North Carolina. During a racing career that spanned more than 40 years, Andretti won 33 times in IndyCar, 19 in kart, and 12 in Formula One. The ver versatile driver made 14 starts in NASCAR's top series, winning the 1967 Daytona 500 and only his second start in the premier event. Everham, currently a race day analyst for ESPN, was the crew chief for driver Jeff Gordon when the Hendrick Motorsports tandem won NASCAR titles in 95, 97, and 98. 47 of Gordon's 88 career wins came with Everham calling the shots. Everham also helped usher Dodge back into NASCAR comp competition in 2000 as a team owner saw his Everham Motorsports organization win 13 times in the Cup Series. Wade, who has covered NASCAR for more than 40 years, began reporting on NASCAR for daily newspapers before joining the staff of Grand National Scene and eventually GN Illustrated, where he held the position of publisher. He is a former winner of the NMPA's George Cunningham Award and was presented the Henry T. McLemore Award for Outstanding Lifetime Achievements in Motorsports Journalism in 1989. 
The NMPA Hall of Fame, located on the grounds of Darlington, South Carolina Raceway, I don't know why they put that in the middle there. Darlington Raceway, which is in South Carolina, was founded in 1965. So that is our NASCAR news for the day. I hope you guys have a great uh, great day. Congratulations to Mario Andretti, Steve Wade, and Ray Abraham for their uh, honors. Um, great news for ESPN's ratings, and uh, hopefully Dave Blaney can still have some fun in, in racing. So you guys have a great day, everybody.